Hello guys. Today I'll talk to you about this uh, 2015 Mercedes S550. Now I've got the V8 twin turbo and it has on the exterior you see it's got the sport package, the AMG package. Um, the high tech LED headlights here. Uh, it's called LED Intelligent Lighting System. Uh, it turns with the steering wheels and whatnot. We'll go more in details with that. It's got, so you can see here the side skirt on this car. It looks different than the regular Mercedes. It actually looks so much better than the regular Mercedes. And these are the AMG wheels. Got the emblems here. Uh, they are 20 inch, so we uh, they are staggered as well. So we have 245 up front, 20 inch, and 275 in the back. Um, in person, they look really, really nice. I don't know, maybe on camera, they might not look that good. Uh, we've got parking sensors all around, and the front bumper here is, has a deeper opening than the normal one. Uh, with a different shape than the regular one and what else do we have here we got the 360 cam it's an optional package so you get cameras here on the mirrors and we have camera that pops up from this here this part uh, this is also part of the uh, distronic cruise control system so it just it's uh, keeps the same distance in front of you in front of the car in front of you it, you know it slows down it slows down on its own it accelerates it accelerates to reach the speed limit that you set it up with um, it's pretty cool it's pretty good actually for the most part sometimes it's uh, a little bit iffy with the uh, with trailer like semi trucks because the bottom of the trailer sometimes it's got a bar and whatnot it gets confused a little bit but anyways, this we have here the metallic. Uh, I think it's the uh, white metallic um, paint, and you can see the metallic pieces in it. And it looks so beautiful compared to, let's say, uh, um, other cars in, uh, like BMW, for example. You get the Alpine white, and that's usually just white and it just looks so uh, dull compared to this one this looks really really beautiful anyways in uh, the sport AMG package as well you get the different bumper in the back this piece here is different than the regular one it looks so much better and I like how it is um, so you have a black piece here and a dual exhaust and then the white piece at the bottom for the air diffuser it gives it a really nice contrast and it looks beautiful in the back uh, we have i think two exhaust tips in here hidden inside but one is a close and the other one opens when it's uh, in sport mode uh, this is a formatic version and it look, works really well in snow this past winter, uh, the car had no problems at all here. We have the door guards here. I think probably the previous owner. This was bought from this first owner and it had like 30,000 miles, I think. As you see, this opens slowly, kind of really nice. This shows you the tire pressures and whatnot, but it's a octane rating minimum 91. So that's uh, a little different than your normal vehicles. We have the panoramic sunroof here. It's a really huge, so it goes all the way from here to here. And this slides out. It doesn't go in because there's not much space, so it slides out all the way out. And this is actually glass as well for the rear occupants. There is a shade in there that I'll show you here. A little bit and this car has 
uh, the acoustic package as well. So uh, it's got double glazed windows all around <clears throat> and the front window has a, a shield, like a, some sort of a coating or, or application to not let too much noise in, like noise reduction. So the car is uh, relatively quiet inside but it's just not as quiet as I was hoping that it would be. You know, there's, I mean, this is the S-Class, the highest thing you can get uh, from Mercedes uh, besides the Maybach, but that one is a whole different ball game. So the S-Class is really the top of the line, but it's still not as quiet as uh, we were hoping it would be. But nonetheless, um, you got the two cameras here and another camera. Looks like there's like four different stuff and one of them is a, a rain sensor, of course. Uh, I think this one works for the lane keep assist and it works pretty well in this car. Um, so this car has several packages. We have the uh, 360 camera, it's in its own package. We have uh, the lane keep assist, and then we have the Distronic Plus. <laughs> That's a package, and we have, um, what else do we have? The acoustic, I think, is a separate package. And then it's got the comfort package. Uh, um, one of them is a, actually it's got UV protection, so um, all around, so when there's a sun outside, you put your hand, you don't feel much, uh, it's really brilliant. So it keeps the car cool on, on the inside. And it's got the rear, oh, okay. one of the interesting features here, so when you open the, uh, need to throw these away, we just had, brand new tires installed so we got them from here the back from tire rack and we had them in the back here but you can see the we open the <laughs> the door here this pops out this, it actually pops out and um it lits up so you can see where to put the uh the seat belt and it would do the same so if I open this door let's see if I can actually show you see it pops out and lits up so you see where to put the uh, seat belt also the seat belt in the back has got an airbag in it so you can see it's a little thick. So this would inflate in case of an accident. And we have here, this, uh, there is a package for the uh, rear occupants here, the seating. As you can see, we got uh, different separate controls for the rear occupants. You can uh, pretty much control everything, even the headrest forward and backward everything up and down electric we have uh, heated uh, seats cool seats in the back that's a separate package as well and then this button here you can click it and then you can control this seats here in front of you so i can click this guy and now when i push this forward the front one moves so i can move it forward and backward using this here instead of using instead of uh, controlling my own so that's uh, pretty interesting um, you don't need someone to mess around with you so you can see this uh, this car is a uh, rear passenger uh, focused in the back here um, I have this here the uh, one uh, the mirror uh, unfortunately I mean it it's a little too far, you know, if you're sitting here in the back, it's a little too far. You have to go up to it. It doesn't come to, you can't detach it or something. But nonetheless, you see here, there's a microphone pickup. 
for the Bluetooth. And we have here reading lights. So these come on. And we have here, so it lets up the interior for you on both sides. Um, airbags here, shade over there. And then you can see these pillows, very comfy. It's part of the seat package here. And if I can show you the ambient light in this car, it's actually pretty awesome. So you can see uh, right now it's the ambient lighting is put on red. Let's see if we can wake it up again. Come on. There we go. It's uh, very nice. And you can choose from a lot of colors. That's here. You can see everything is lit. Less. There's lighting here. There's lighting. The footwell here as well. Uh, front and back. You can see over there. The brake pedal is lit. Over there is lit. Everything. And then all the way through. All the way in the back. If you see all the way behind the seat, Let's see, it's like you're in a nightclub. It's <laughs> very interesting. Um, not much lighting in here to show you the rest, but nonetheless. Um, so on the on this side as well, we got. The controls as well for this seat but this does not control the front seat so we have just the heat cooled and memory positions as well three memory positions for each this gets three memory positions this does and so this does as well sure some of them come with a with a fridge actually in the back but we didn't want that because it takes up quite a bit of a uh, space in the in the trunk so here, let me open the trunk. As you can see, it's uh, pretty spacious. It's pretty big, actually. Same buttons here as usual, closing and locking. And you've got the lights here, red lights, white lights. Same here on this side. And some lighting in here as well. Uh, one problem I don't really like is that there's no hangers here. And in Mercedes, there is a, something you buy here, it's called shopping bag or something. So it would actually slide out. And then you can put your stuff in it. But shopping hooks, like shopping bag hooks would be very beneficial. But unfortunately, this one Mercedes does not have. Very, very nice. And let's see here, we have uh, these uh, uh, these windshield wipers, actually, <laughs> the Mercedes, uh, the, water, the water splashes come out of the wiper itself. And uh, I don't know if other cars have this as well, but uh, I find it really interesting. And uh, these are so, like a little bit more expensive than your typical windshield wipers but yeah uh, it's funny how it like uh, channels the water through and then comes out of the windshield wiper itself or like on the edge of it you know let's uh, look here in you have this compartment so this opens from here and opens from here kind of like both sides uh, but I really don't like how it's like you know you have to kind of slam it down and like when you open it up, you can see it like bounces out, you know, like, come on. They could do better than that. Uh, one thing about these seats, they are very, very comfortable. And uh, with the extenders here, the thigh extender. So this is the thigh extender. It actually comes out 
Yeah, it kind of feels like you're sitting on a couch. So it's very comfortable. Uh, we have the Burmester upgraded sound system, but it's not the 3D. So the 3D, you get a different tweeter, you know, that rotates and come out and you would get speakers up in the roof and whatnot. Uh, way more complicated and sounds much better than this. And unfortunately, this sound system here is not the best. I'm not a big fan of it. I think uh, the Bang & Olsen in my M5 sounds better than this. But um, it's not horrible, just not really the best. Um, I thought like it would sound good. It blends really well. The sounds, it's, it's kind of like a soft, kind of like on the soft side uh, sound system, you know. Not too loud, obnoxious, doesn't really give you a headache. Um, it's detailed enough, but it's just not, doesn't have that, you know, that zing for high-end sound, sound system. But nonetheless, you got wood. This car is heavily wooded. Dashboard, the steering, as I'll show you here in a little bit. Um, lights here on the doors and we have a strong ceiling at the bottom here and all around for soundproofing of the vehicle so you get these double seals so here and here uh, the bottom thick one as you see the Mercedes Benz is lit as well and it's all metal chrome here that plastic and you can see it's like it's solid very solid um please don't mind this five here these are <laughs> from the f90 m5 we've had back when we got rid of the f90 m5 we got this car for the long distance so this is more of a long distance car and the f10 m5 is the in town more of a bully, I guess, that car. But yeah, these are from the BMW. So anyway, someone might recognize it. We just repurposed them into the Mercedes. Anyways, let's see if there's enough lighting in here. It might be. As you can see, this panel here is, you can see how it's coming apart. It's pretty bad. Um, I don't like these buttons, really, the tactile, the feeling, it's just pretty bad. And they get stuck, like this one here, it gets stuck. So this is the auto shut off for the engine, and you want to turn it off, sometimes it doesn't, you have to press so hard, and suddenly it makes noises. Anyways, we'll explain that in a little bit. Here, this is for the uh, rear headrest. Bring them down so when you park if you need to see something this is for the uh, rear sunshade take it up and down uh, this is for the instrument lights you know um these buttons here uh, most of the time they get stuck together like right now because the car we used it earlier they are free to move but tomorrow this will get stuck with this so you click the menu and then you're front defrost comes on and these are supposed to be metal but I think they are plastic they are not metal uh, these are supposed to be metal I like the feedback the clicking noise and whatnot as you see you move it it clicks but it doesn't feel very see you can see now it's you can Tell it's plastic but they made really they made a good job making it look like metal and feel like metal but eventually you will find out it's not uh, and so is this knob this is for the air uh, how much air you want to come in you know very interesting um, I really don't like the feedback of this button um, and it's a little bit loose but nonetheless, it, it looks metal, but it's not. And it kinda, I think that gives it this the cheap part of this car. God, it's a little annoying because these things you touch on a daily basis for the most part, you know, this and this here. And I just can't get over this. These buttons get stuck. 
quite often. And yeah. Anyways, and the volume knob here, it's a roller. Uh, not a fan, not a fan at all. Uh, this button here to turn off the screen, turn it off and on and off. But yeah, not a fan of this here. And a couple more things on the infotainment, like for example, if you have uh, Bluetooth playing, you cannot skip tracks here, you know, you can do the volume, but you cannot skip tracks. You actually have to go in the menu over there and make it show up over here. Then you can skip the tracks, but then you lose your digital speedometer. Um, so it's I don't know, really, really, really dumb things in uh, in the infotainment system, which they should have thought about it even like more, you know, because that's stuff you do use uh, all the time while you're driving, and it's very distracting. Uh, but anyways. Uh, this here, this, 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 this is it's just useless. I don't know. I don't know why they use it. They could have just integrated the touch in the knob, and that's it. These hotkeys are just useless. Believe me, we've had this car for so long, never used them. I never used this. Like, this is just so annoying. And it gets hot. Like, it gets hot. I don't know why it gets hot. So, like, uh, when you put your hand, you know, it gets hot. It's really... I don't know what's in here, you know, but whatever. Another thing, uh, the heated seats here in this car, it's got the uh, the heat comfort package or something. I don't know. There's so many packages in this car. I think the MSRP uh, was close to $150,000. But anyways, when you turn the heat seat, this will heat up. This part here, where you put your arm, it'll heat up. This seat is going to heat up, obviously, and this will actually heat up as well. The center console will get hot. So that's really interesting. That's, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Another one annoying. Well, I guess there's too many, several annoying things here in this car that I really don't like. Um, another thing is this headliner. You have this uh, kind of fabric here you know why it's not alcantara for example why is it this you know like why is it this fabric it's all around you know i don't know if you can hear the especially these uh oh my god these things they feel so cheap you know it's like they're hard and feel really cheaply made i don't know but and you can detach this one here to the side and you still have a small one for the front. So you can have the sun blinds on the side and the front as well. So that's pretty cool, but they feel so cheap. So pick your poison in this car. Anyways, um, the, the shield here for the sunroof is fabric it's because it's basically i mean as you know it's this thing is so huge usually in normal cars the uh the sunroof shield here and underneath is usually like a piece of uh, cardboard or a cover you know hard cover that you roll you roll it back uh this one is a fabric that actually rolls you know somewhere in here it rolls it in and then rolls it out again anyways uh, one thing you recognize about the S-Class specifically is the door uh, uh, the door openings and as uh, the door closing. So you can see here this door supposed to stay open wherever you put it, you know? And they open really wide, much wider than other cars, uh, especially the back one here. It's almost, not quite, but almost perpendicular. And it gives you a huge opening, unlike other cars, you know. But the close, when you close it, it sounds like a bolt. It gives you that feeling. Uh, Self-closed doors, obviously, you know. Of course. Imagine 150 grams and you still have to push it in. But the sound 
you get that sound. And uh, only in this class so far, I've experienced this sound. It really sounds mechanical and interesting. Yeah, it's beautiful. You can see here the reflection. It's all that uh, UV and heat uh, and the audio, like uh, acoustic protection. It gives it that, it's almost uh, like metallic -y reflection, greenish kind of a reflection. And on the outside, on the daylight, it feels like it's like you have foil on here. It reflects really uh, distinctly. So, and you can see this front windshield will kind of reflect kind of pinkish color. And I think that's part of the uh, UV and acoustic shielding. Let's talk about these uh, these uh, options here. That's the 360 cam, the parking sensors. As you can see, each button is an option in this car. Then keep assist. Ah, oh, sorry, this is distance control, distance, uh, distronic. And this is a uh, lane keep assist. It'll steer for you. Um, these are the lights here and a parking brake. So it's basically you pull it for parking. It's got electronic brake. Anyways, right now the car has 50,000 miles, 909 miles. Uh, like I told you, it was bought with uh, 30,000 miles, I think, 30, 31, somewhere around that. And yeah, so one crazy thing about this car. So this is an auto dimming mirror. Okay, you can see the sensor is here. That little circle. And that will dim this mirror and it will dim that mirror. But believe it or not, that mirror <laughs> does not dim. Shame on you, Mercedes. That mirror dimming is a called a mirror package so it's an extra some money i don't i don't know how much it is but uh, you have to opt for the mirror package so you can get auto dimming here um plus the other ones here which it, this one does does the auto dim but that one does not so that was a, a very strange coincidence with this car or very strange like a piece of information uh, did not even occur to us that oh, it might not be auto dimming. Anyways, press start button here. Uh, you can actually pull this out, and it's uh, for like uh, uh, service purposes. There's like sometimes you need to actually put the key in the thing. But nonetheless, let's open the garage door and turn this car on. We'll talk a little bit more about the inside. Here, the welcome screen, blah blah blah. And so, by default, the car is in efficient mode and comfort mode, suspension wise. And this button here will take it up and down. But when you put it in sport, it'll lower down the car, it'll stiffen the suspension because uh, this is an air ride suspension. So, um, it can uh, stiffen it up by adding more pressure to it and making it softer as well and this is for the engine so in sport mode you know the engine kind of a more more uh, responsive transmission is more responsive uh, when you put it on it drops the gear right away and it sort of hangs on to that gear like whatever gear it's in it hangs on to it a little bit more than normal so that's basically sport mode in a nutshell. Uh, the car uh, in efficient mode is sluggish and lazy. Uh, I mean, this car is really heavy. Let's see how heavy it is. It's, I think that's like the loaded weight, 6,000 pounds. That's pretty, pretty heavy. Let's see here. Somehow, this was activated. Uh, you can see the fan control here. And then you can choose 
which air vent you want so it's put on auto on both and that's the temperature so you have separate controls for passenger and driver um, so yeah you, you won't turn it off you just have to turn it off from here anyways uh, same thing here in the back you know you get these uh, uh, plastic key that looks like metal kind of ordeal show you this so we have storage here in the back and it's well padded here no problems now you can see wood inlays here all through it's pretty cool the seat belt pushed up and lit once you click it it goes back down and turns off it's pretty cool and this is the cup holders basically you press it down um, so that you, know, you actually have the space and it shows up here and then when you want to lift it up again you know yeah you don't press on it again you press this button here and it comes up again uh, somehow somehow this here actually went inside of the groove if you can see it it's not popping anymore like this one here I don't know how that happened but yeah anyways you get the idea and I don't like how this thing is loose so it kind of rattles when you drive around uh, which is pretty annoying these vents are for the cooling the seat cooling you know so it sucks up air and put it in the uh, see so now let me show you this will bring this back and so that's that button and then this button this button will open this so you get your own uh, control here and now this let's see it'll open shield automatic then you can open the window and you can see here the double glazing so let me see if I can show you there it is so you see there's a piece of glass here and then a piece of glass on the outside and there is the middle part that's for the sound deadening and whatnot you need the UV temperature so that's pretty interesting this is factory by the way this is not tinting this is factory and you can see the two-tone color in it you can see here it's one color and then changes color on this line uh, this all of this is factory this car is not tinted anyways it goes all the way down it keeps getting out of focus like a stupid thing we have a hook here we have air vent here and then you know just the seats as you can see there's loads of room and there's more room if you want to uh, you can do this is all the way reclined now you can push this forward put your head and be all comfortable and if you have uh, that uh, seat over there let's see if we can do it footrest comes out it's itty bitty but hey it's there and then you can recline this seat all the way it actually already did look how much space you have here you can sit this way and basically yep enjoy your uh, this class do this here a little bit work it forward a little bit yeah and it's just life is great anyways
Yeah, I mean, this car, as you see, is very focused on the rear passengers. And especially with this package, the seating package here, rear seat package. Uh, not every S-Class has it. That's a separate one. Close this. And then this here. You can close that window. There you go. And then you can close this in the back. And then you can close this here. Anyways, I really like the color of the, uh, as you can see here, um, the stitching is kind of matching the color of the uh, leather here. And it looks really nice. Same here as well. Let's look at this uh, 360 here. To view the extreme you adjust front passenger seat to remove or remove the head restraint. So now that you know, you can't really see it anymore, so it's just telling me that you should. Uh, yeah, but, anyways, and now if we can do this, and then we can do this. See? Now we're actually using the memory one of that seat. So anyways, here it's done. Uh, you can do whatever you want. More controls, you know, you can control it forward and backward. Etc. Then you can click this, and that's it. Now you control your own seat. Cool. All right. So you can see here the wood trim on this steering wheel. Um, it's beautiful. Um, I like this bottom part here on the highway. You can I can hold it from here. Pretty nice. Feels solid. It's got leather in the back, wood in the front. So when you want, this car has the heated steering. Which is a package, by the way. You know, do this, it turns on. But the only parts that heat up are basically this part here. And that's it. These parts, you know, that's it. Uh, the wood part does not heat up. So only this part. And it actually comes on very, very quickly. Let's turn it off. This here, this Tronic Plus, so when you actually set it up, we can't really set it up right now. You can uh, choose the distance, like how, how long you want the distance between you and the uh, car in front of you. Hopefully you're seeing that. Uh, there is a knob here. You rotate this to select the distance you want. You know, more distance, less distance. And it shows you here. The only problem is when you set it like this, and then you set your distance, it times out quickly, you know, like the screen goes back to this very quickly. And then when you're setting the distance as you're cruising, uh, it doesn't show you, it doesn't come on and show you, okay, now the distance being changed. So it's it's really, really annoying. Um, I don't know why they, I don't know why they did this. It's, it's actually kind of down, downright stupid. I don't know why they do this. Like you wanna see, okay, how much is it right now, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't tell you another annoying thing so this car has the auto high beam assist and you basically push this lever forward and now it tells you that you know auto high beam the high beam is being auto and it doesn't come on you know it doesn't just come on right away and and goes off as traffic comes along as lighting comes along no it's just it takes while for it to come on and then when you're slowing down and you like a corner you know you go into a small street it goes off when you stop it goes off when uh, even if there's no one around you it's really weird so there's no way for you to actually keep it on like like if i want it on all the time i would like to have the option to do so this car does not let you so the only option to have it on is to actually press and hold this like pull it towards you and hold it. And it's just stupid, man. When I do this, 
it doesn't come on right away. It just comes on whenever it wants to, you know? It's just when it, when things, when it thinks, oh, now I can come on. It could, you could drive for like 30 seconds before it comes on. It's, uh, I don't know what they were thinking. I don't know what it is. It's really stupid. Uh, let's find out what this does. Ah, I see. So this brings out a massage menu. So this car has a massage kind of like a thingy and these are dynamic multi-contour seats so this is pretty awesome actually and you can uh, select the intensity of it passenger and driver uh, when you take a turn when you turn the your steering wheel uh, the side bolster comes on and it's so sensitive you know like even the slightest turn it actually you can feel it coming on a little bit and it, it really works with the steering you, you know you turn more it comes on more and kind of like pushes you from the side and it's basically air being inflated you know and deflated in these pockets but it happens so quick uh it almost feels like a hand you know pushing you from side to side and you really need it in this car this car is so heavy it leans like a boat you know and you're inside like and and this this sear that it saves you and you stop rolling and you're like straight up in your seat it's pretty pretty awesome I wish the F90 had this option. It was in the E60 M5, but the F10 doesn't have it, and so the F90 M5 doesn't have it either. Uh, what a shame. Anyways, uh, you can choose the seat heating balance. You know, you want it, you know, more like at the bottom, more here, more there. You can, uh, so you can see how it is. Changing stuff here. It is very complicated, but nonetheless, then you can reset everything. Uh, let's see here backrest sides okay, so this is like inflate the uh, this is like how much you want it to be inflated already so if you have a, a narrow a narrow back and you feel like too much play in your seat so you can increase it and it'll uh, just inflate it and it's so sensitive I'm doing it right now and it's like coming on that's so awesome, man. Anyways. And then you have here the lumbar. Like this, you move it up and it changes with the, the movement. It's very interesting. And you can actually, you can actually move it inward, upward like this. You see that? <laughs> uh, so cool. Uh, shoulders as well you can uh, uh, push the seats forward a little bit and then here you have the massage functions and you can choose multiple uh, hot relaxing it actually comes on the heating comes on and it presses against you it's a uh, pretty cool it actually works really well the only problem is it doesn't have it doesn't have massage at the bottom so your, your your ass will never get massaged only your back and uh, I don't know I found that weird like uh, why why there is uh, at least the back you know if they uh, in inflate the bottom a little bit side to side or something it could help so on a long drive you know your back feels much better but your butt kind of stays a little bit not happy anyways this will bring back the vehicle settings and there are a lot of settings uh, 360 cam let's see as we can see how it comes on so this basically pops out we'll turn the camera in here and then this part here is the radar for the Vistronic plus cruise control as you can see here both lights come on on low beam and they move you know they, they actually move with your steering uh, and they do a really great job kind of uh, revealing the highway in front of you the road but they are a little bit down like they very sharp so the distance isn't great I wish there was a way to kind of lift them up a little bit but I don't know anyways that's the signal here one for the signal and one for the daylight running lights. 
and when you turn the steering as well you can uh, it'll it'll turn the side it'll lit up the side so let's go back here um, so you can do 360 camera, blah, blah, parental control, manual, vehicle settings. So here you go in and everything is slow, you know, like everything is slow. Like you saw, you know, the car moved a little bit and it made this menu came up, blah, blah, blah. And belt adjustment. I think you adjust the height with this here and the mirror folding, locator lighting. Um, <clears throat> automatic locking, interior lighting, delay switch off, okay, ambient light, can color, and then here you can choose from this menu, and you can, I don't know if you can see the color kind of changes, so there's here the purple, or this is purple, I don't know, oh, this is moonlight blue, this is daylight white, kind of, um, Purple? Uh, this is twilight purple. Uh, I'm pretty sure the phone won't really reflect this the colors very well. Dawn red, but it's kind of looks like pink, kind of pinkish to me. It doesn't look red at all. And the color changes here as well, as you can see. And uh, back to red, sunset orange. I don't know. I'm a big fan of orange. Um, I find I kind of see it, find it easy on the eyes. But we'll keep it on red for now. It's actually pretty cool. Ambient light. So here you can actually, as you can see, the intensity is uh, changing. So that changes the intensity everywhere, here and here, and so in the back as well. But you want to keep that uh, nightclub vibe going. And then here you can choose the zone you want the rear zone only it'll do only the rear zone anyways voice amplification so it just amplifies the audio for the bluetooth so rear rear passengers can can uh, actually hear it so the seat heating the panels all these get hot the middle even the back seat as well so this will only do the front this will do none this will do rear only front and rear oh, cool acoustic lock feedback now we're back to where we started anyways see how like things are, are slow and then you, then in that menu that pops down it's, it's so annoying um display off on i don't know just go away for now yeah anyways there's a lot of stuff but the system is not very intuitive it's a uh, very slow consumption mpg why is it not here well, for some reason it's not showing anything well, let's see maybe we can see it here okay Oh yeah, so you can see here, it's roughly 21 miles per gallon. Um, that's that's highway, I think. Uh, combined, it would be a little less. I think I would say something around 17 combined. City, it would be a little bit less than that. I mean, this car is really heavy, so don't expect any good. Uh, economy out of it, you know, and you don't really buy it for this economy, whatever. When you put it in sport, it'll show you S over there. But anyways, um, you see this here? Uh, this is digital, by the way, and you can actually touch it. So be careful not to actually break the thing. There is no protective covering here. Anyway, uh, you <laughs> you put this like, up to a hundred percent. You drive like half an hour, you know, it drops to ninety it's, or even less. It's <laughs> it's very interesting it really uh <laughs> it's really not so great on guys but anyways you got you know a bunch of stuff here you have the sos this things zooms um for the ambient lighting if you want it to be off um, by the way 
every light in this car is LED. But there's no regular filament bulb, you know, in this car. Everything is LED. Everything, including the, uh, the license plate, lighting, door, everything. Everything is LED. It's the first Mercedes with everything LED in it. Um, you can see there's some ambient lighting here, blah, blah, blah. Uh, sunglass holder, which is pretty cool. It's lined up with felt, soft. I wish BMW has that too. I don't know why they don't. Okay, so this is for the rear, for the rear shield. Kind of sucks now because it won't close unless you actually open it all the way through. It's very weird, isn't it? You see that? That's like another crazy thing. So you do this, you open it by mistake, you know, a little bit now, you know, it won't close and you have to open the whole thing and then you can close it again. And here, you now we open this. And then we open this gigantic sunroof. And it pops out. And you get this flappy here with mesh. Uh, very quiet, you know, when it's when it's open. You don't hear much really. But it doesn't open all the way through because it's so big it cannot go all the way back. Let's see it. Yep, that's basically what it is, you know, you won't go any further. It doesn't make noise, nothing, it's very solid, it won't rattle, nothing, it's pretty, pretty, very, very good actually. And as you expect from BMW and Mercedes, these are the two cars that I noticed when you open a sunroof and all the windows down. Like uh, all the windows uh, closed, for example, and you open the sunroof, um, you can still have a conversation here normally. Nothing really. It's not obnoxious, not loud. Um, some cars it's just impossible to open it and talk to someone in the car. Anyways, um, these they feel metal, and I think they might be. Like this piece is probably metal, but the buttons, I'm sort of like a, I don't think they are, but it really, really, really gives you that feeling that they are. That's, that's really the crazy part. Even these, uh, these buttons here, like they're not metal, but they feel metal. And I think they are, they might be like just light, really light aluminum. Uh, this is definitely metal. You can feel it. And this could be just metal covering plastic on top, you know. Same with this guy here. You see the wood, everything. That's a trunk release over there. So yeah. Um, I think this uh, gives you a pretty good idea about this Mercedes here. Uh, the driving impression. I have a separate video on that. And it's not very positive definitely not buying a mercedes again for sure um i, I don't like this car to be honest with you so when your bluetooth is hooked up on this car no no sound is gonna come out unless there is you have spotify playing you have music playing on your phone so if you have you know navigation going on in your phone and you connect the bluetooth and you put it here so you can um see the, the map but the prompts are not gonna come through the system because it only plays if the music is playing so it'll play over the music you know unless you're playing music you're not gonna hear anything else you're not gonna hear email beeping you're not gonna hear, me hear message uh, beeping you're gonna hear nothing unless you have music constantly playing so, and then you'll hear other notifications but anyways the infotainment isn't the greatest um, and you can tell this car is kind of designed for like all people, you know, and everything. It's like, it's like, it's like they have a, a five second debounce code on every button you press. You know, everything takes time to happen. Um, like when you uh, do the cruise control, whatever, everything just takes time for it to execute. Anyways, like uh, so something cool here, interesting, like um, when you turn on the AC, 
you can turn it off you know like i can't just go here i can't just go low all the way and turn it off i can't turn off the ac i can't turn on the fan i have to go here you have to go to the freaking oh you have to go to the menu here like this menu and see how it, it takes forever to load and then i have to go down here climate control on i have to say off And now it's off. See, now it says climate control. Off. Why, 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 why they didn't do it, you know, oh, now, see, now it's back on. Why they didn't do it, you know, with an off button, just like in the back. Why there is no off button, just like in the back, you know, easy, simple. You don't have to go through this, uh, through this menu here. You click the menu, you see? It takes forever, guys, it takes forever, for God's sakes. I uh, forgot to tell you the blind spot is a triangle in the mirror. I really love this. I don't like how the F10 M5 and the older BMWs have a triangle here. Um, like I said in my other review on the M5, most of the time you don't see it because you're looking in the mirror and sort of this is not bright enough. You don't see it, but this one here, you see it, it's, it lights up kind of orangey, reddish thing. And it's really, really good. When a, this car senses accident coming up or whatever, it tightens, it beeps, and then it tightens up the seat belt. It uh, hold, it puts the bolsters on the seat, you know, tight, hold you tight. And um, and the steering wheel, uh, the camera, you know, reads the lines and puts you right in the middle of it, and sort of like prepares, you know, if there's anything wrong. It's very, very interesting. This car is very safe. Um, so yeah, but anyways, everything has its flaw. This car has a, its flaws definitely, and it's mostly for me in the in the tech part and in the mechanical part of the transmission. The transmission is just straight junk. I'm very sorry, but get one for yourself and you will know what i'm talking about i hope you like this review um please feel free to ask me questions leave your comments i know i hurt some uh, people's feelings sometimes with my honest opinion but i'm sorry i mean i uh, do apologize i'll just say it as it is i wanted to show you the uv protection piece i think I think that's part of the double design. I don't, it's not on the outside, but you can see this here. There's a small cut out, cut out here that the color is different than the rest of the glass. And you can, if you put your hand here under the sun, it won't burn like a, a normal car. Anyways, guys, that's it for now. We'll catch you in another video. See you later.